Well, it's significantly later than I anticipated starting the vlog. It is 1 p.m. Well, it's almost 2 p.m. It's 1.44 on Thursday, uh, September 24th. And it's one of those things where you start working on a project, you're going to check something very small very quickly. And two hours later, <laughs> you're done. Uh, the five minutes turns into two hours. That's kind of how research ends up work, working out, particularly if you've got good leads. What I can't believe is the number of people on social media who claim themselves to be experts. And this is what I was looking at now. But not only do they claim themselves to they claim themselves to be an expert, they claim their own they start to claim authority. And they'll go attack other accounts that they believe are not real. Well, I know they're not real. How do you know? Well, I know, I've done my research. Well, okay. Present your research. No photo shots, no screenshots. No uh, 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 verification of, of how they found out. Nothing. It's one, it's one thing to, to, uh, to, be un, to, to understand that, oh, you, you do have to protect sources sometime. But to present no evidence and insist you've done your background research. And when you look at the background research, you can look at their account and see what they've been doing. They're talking to other people. And what it is, it's rumor mill. They heard from a guy, from another guy, from another guy who, it, that's a fake account. Oh, well, because some, some other guy said it, and, and he knows, and until then it's real. I've done my research. Well, no, you haven't. You haven't demonstrated anything. If there was research there, you would actually find bits and pieces of information that would actually lead you back to the type of person you're dealing with. And the profiles that you have, and in many cases, could could be very telling as to, as to who the actual person is, particularly if they want to hide, hide in plain view. And what you see a lot of times is you see you see footage from old news broadcasts being brought forward as real. So it's not necessarily fake news, but but old news being brought forward as current. And yet, these people will stand up there and, and, and insist that they are the real deal. And they'll go report on others who aren't. And so what happens is you get this sort of uh, this seemingly uh, bizarre uh, movement uh, where you have people pretending to be one thing, but they're not really that thing. And then going attack uh, and, and, and attacking people based on their own sense of authority. I mean, one person was 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 talking about the law. He's a graduate from the, the uh, Georgia Law School. Okay, you're a graduate from Georgia Law School. So what? Did you pass the bar? Are you a lawyer? Where's your credentials? Because he, he he's posting himself as a lawyer. So where's his legal credentials? Can I go take a look at them? Are you going to show me your legal... Or are you just there saying, I am a graduate without going further than that? And the thing is, what happens when you sort of see these things, is you take a look at the posts, you can actually start profiling a person. You're looking at their behavior by what they say. In terms of the type of of behavior by the type of attitude they post for, uh, in their in their in their uh, in their uh, individual posts, you do see them always uh, attacking other people. Then you understand that these people are tr these people are are self righteous. That, that, that these people uh, 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 have uh, not only say claim their own their, claim their own authority, but now they're enforcing it. Which really shouldn't be done, but the thing is, is that who's going to stop them on Twitter? And Twitter doesn't 
I think most of the social media people, uh, 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 sort of the authorities in the social media who are now there, don't really know how to deal with this stuff. Uh, so they'll just do one thing or another, they'll suspend the account here, suspend the account there. Oh, this account is, is suspicious, so we're going to put a warning on it. And well, Why can't a person going on to the site make up their own mind? Why is it that you have to have someone telling you, watch out, what you're reading could be dangerous, or you shouldn't be seeing that? I mean, so what if it's fake? Read through it, determine its value, and then go from there. Anyways, it's getting a little late, and uh, we're going over our time. It's time to end Thursday's vlog. <laughs> it was a very big mistake. I forgot the camera was rolling. I just was kind of sitting there. Sitting there with my uh, mind in thought. Uh, I started at 5 o'clock. I went to bed around 3, so I got about 2 hours of sleep. Nice little nap. It sort of refreshed me. Uh, it is... The between the twenty fifth of September, check. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Friday, uh, the September twenty fifth, and uh, it's uh, ten minutes to six, six a.m. Uh, this is this is the way it works when you don't have sleep. Uh, it also is the way the work. I was checking something on Twitter for about five minutes. Some one of my historical projects. Uh. Um, I was able to get done what I wanted to get done, but the research that goes into putting, you know, even even a short short quip on uh, on Twitter, the, the Twitter's publication, the posting is very short. And but the thing is that most people don't read a lot, so you have to get whatever information you want to get across on Twitter. You have to get across very quickly and very tightly. In other words, you can't sort of go on too much or else you'll lose the audience. And so it has to be short, quick, and right to the point. So they can get what you're saying as you're saying it. But to do that could take more than an hour's worth of research before you finally get an understanding down to a point where it's, you know, it's that, it's that uh, direct punch that you want, in terms of a verbal punch. But the thing is, is that there also tends to be a lot of uh, sort of insignificant fighting going on. Ugh. Well, certain issues do matter. What does matter is that certain issues do matter. However, the most important one is making sure that the uh, election isn't stolen, that there isn't election fraud. And unfortunately, the Democrats have a history of this. They're, they've got a demonstrated history of this. And it just as you go into it a little bit further, which most people do, don't do, and even conspiracy, conspiracy, conspiracy theorists, they don't really go beneath the surface. I mean, just take this whole Russian bot theory. This, oh, yeah, the Russian bot theory. Or even the attack, the cyber attacks from from China. Well, any person who knows Linux, and I am a Linux person, knows that you have a lot of emulators on 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 uh, Linux. As a matter of fact, on a Linux system, you can run Windows very well. Why? Because there's an emulator. There's a you can create a virtual box, a virtualization. Within the same box that run Linux, Linux is run, but it can run a, run a complete virtualization of, of Windows uh, within the Linux system because uh, Linux can mimic, can emulate any tactic, any uh, any uh, basic computing environment. 
it creates the environment even without being in that physically without being physically within the box. As a matter of fact, you can create an environment over several boxes, over several servers. Uh, and the, the environment will not sit on any one of the servers, but over distributed over many servers. And that is how the internet works. It's not on one server, it's distributed over many servers. Uh, and so we say, oh, we know we have a digital signature. Well, that's what an emulation is. An emula emula emulation is a digital signature. And the thing is, is it, it doesn't have to be someone from Russia. It doesn't have to be some for China. It just simply has to be an emulation of a Chinese system or an emulation of a Russian system. And they just use fancy IP routing uh, to make it look like it came from China, look came from Russia, and oh, we have Russian bots influencing the elections. That's how you go to, that's how you go beneath the surface. Understand what you're talking about. But most of the conspiracy theories don't do that. They simply stay on the surface they look at information that's passed around from other people oh, who say they know, but it's not tell me I know. It's not I know. Give me a me mechanism. Show me how this works. That's the, that's the physiology. That's the mechanism. That's the physics of the thing. But most people can't do that. Most researchers can't. You know, these, these conspiracy theory researchers can't do that. And that's, this is what I'm seeing over and over again. Is that the, the the researcher who claims to know, who claims to put the uh, their authority into this, don't know. They don't even don't even know how to get to the mechanism itself. And this is where a large chunk of a problem with with intelligence is in terms of, you know, uh, you know, information, is it's just the ability to digest the information just simply isn't there. And it's a difficult, difficult problem. How do you get information out to people? That's absolutely necessary. Anyways, it's always my perspective. It doesn't matter whether you're worth it or not. But, no refunds.